Hey guys, it's the chef. And penguin. And we're here to do the that update on this battery. <clears throat> I did a test on this. I ran this all night with one of the four amp brand new Ryobi batteries I got. It lasted about six and a half hours on high. I got, sit down food, sit down. This is the one I bought off of Amazon. It was $31 and some change. It's a 6OH battery. It's made by a company named Vannon. At this point, she'll add the screenshot into their website. You can look it up. You can buy the batteries directly off of them. You don't have to go through Amazon. They have some good deals going right now, too. I put this one on it with a full charge. Lasted eight hours. And it took a charge just almost as fast as the 6 did on the Ryobi charger. So as far as starting out and using the battery, I'm going to give it a thumbs up. It holds more energy than the 4. It recharged almost as fast as the 4. And it run the, it run the fan at full speed. And I've used it for a few other things now too, on and off. So it was how long on the other battery? Six and a half hours on the 4 amp. 4HO battery and it lasted eight hours on this battery. So let's move my fan out of the way and put the battery down here. And Penguin picked this up, marked down for a couple bucks at uh, Home Depot the other day. It's a Black Eyed Susan. It's getting a little rough in the middle, but we're going to take it out and plant it here in a little bit. While the sale was still going on at uh, Ryobi's website, I couldn't get anything at the uh, Home Depots that they sell these through. I went ahead and ordered me two more of the four batteries and a charger to get the free tool. And I got another surprise here that I'll be showing you in a moment. So we're going to do a little unboxing here. Uh, let's see. Let's slide this one around. Now this came from the Home Depot, but I ordered it through Ryobi's website. So... Are you watching what Daddy does? Huh? Got a little dirt on the bottom of it there from the uh, plant. Come here, you want down? Come here. There you go. Yeah, there's a lot of packing paper in there. Throw that down here on the floor. But for $99 total yeah that's total price total price they had it on they had the sale going on I will that back here I got a brand new 18 volt 5 inch random orbital sander with this little dust bag particle bag there take it out of the box for you and they hook stuff down good You guys having a good Sunday? I spent my Sunday cleaning out an old truck. Yeah. Oh, what else I did this morning? Did something else. You, we don't know when you guys are going to see this video for sure. Right. So. But it comes with the sander itself. But happy August 1st. Yeah, it's August 1st today. There's the sander itself. There's the little detachable uh, bag that catches your dust. Just sticks on there, I'm sure. The way most of them work, and you can just pop them off. Yeah, it doesn't turn or anything, so it just sticks on the end there. And they gave me, looks like they gave me three pieces of sandpaper there, uh, 80 grit sandpaper that just adheres right to the bottom. It's sort of like Velcro, it's got a mesh, and the backs of these should be sticky back peel. Oh, they gave me 220 grit, 120 grit, and 80 grit. So they give me from fine to rough to use that on. And just to show you what it sounds like, figure out how to use it here. It puts out a lot of air. And I can feel it really vibrating. More power. <laughs> there is one thing about this battery. One of the springs in the 
side that you have to depress to get it out is really stiff. It'll loosen up over time. Yeah, it'll loosen up over time. But I got the whole deal, like I said, for 99 bucks. I got two brand new Boro batteries and a small charger and the tool for $99. On their Ryobi Day sales. Yeah, on the Ryobi Day sale. As I said, you gave this special was if you buy the two batteries and the charger for $99, you get a free tool up to a $99 value. And you, they give you a list of tools that you can choose from. Right. The inverter was one of those tools on that list until I ran out of those that we showed you the other night and the one I did the short on. But there's what you get. There's two brand new. 4HA Ryobi brand batteries. AH. AH. That need charged, of course, but I have to drain them first. They both got half a charge on them. Like I said before, I, I use them till they're drained, then I recharge them. That way they hold a better charge. And a small wall mount type charger. The other charger is about twice that size and three times that size. So that's the first thing I got. That was. How many chargers do you have now? <laughs> <sighs> I got two regular big ones. I got a big one that's a 30 minute quick charge, which you don't want to use too often because it'll tear your batteries up if you use it over and over. And now I have two of these, so I got five chargers. But I also have, with the little batteries, the threes, the fours, and now this one, I probably got 20 batteries too. Mm -hmm. So I have, I have enough to supply a whole construction crew with stuff. Let's set this all this stuff out of the way. But Ryobi had a lot of stuff on sale this last month. When we first bought this house here, my brother-in-law has helped me start putting privacy fence up. And that's how our fur babies stay in. We have privacy fence around part of the yard. We were going to do the whole yard. Well, between time and money and other things that went on, we didn't get it done. I have most of the fence still out in the garage popped up. And I have posts, I still have to buy some concrete. Well, both of my brother-in-laws have augers, but they're gas augers. And I found out that they're both finicky. Uh, they're hard to get started. When you get them running, they'll run good for a little bit. And then they'll kind of just putter around. They don't really want to dig. And we have a lot of rock here. There's a lot of brick and rock about six inches under the surface. And trying to dig with a post hole digger or a regular shovel is, is doable, but not for my age and the uh, shape them in it's really hard well I've been watching them for a while and been watching uh, reviews other people have did Ryobi has an 18 volt earth auger it comes with a six inch uh, auging blade on it and they were 249 and that come with one battery and a charger or you could buy this the tool for 219 well on this last week of this Ryobi day sale they lowered the one with the tool down to $189 so I do, I bet, I went ahead and bought it. That's what's in this box here we're gonna open up for you. They really sealed it up good. Yes, they did. Yeah, they sealed her up really good. shut the camera off so I can lay this down sideways for you and I'll be right back. I'm just turning this back on for a minute to show you guys Jeez. the struggle is real because they really pack it thick. Yeah, they packed it really good. We'll be right back. Yeah, I finally wrestled it out of the box. Uh, it's got a six inch auger blade on it with a tip, which I'll show you in a second with blades in it. Go ahead and cut the tag it off. This pops off right there like that. We always keep all of our paperwork. I always recommend everybody to keep all the paperwork. Uh, it's, a, it's your safety with that. It's in the vision. Focus on author surface and operate controls. Forward facing with body behind the arc of the handles and operate controls. Tight grip on the handles. Hips locked and close to the operating controls and handles. Even feet with shoulder stance with handles arch close against the body below waist level and it gives you kind of a diagram 
And on the other side, it gives you more instructions on how to use it if you've never used an auger before. But anyway. That's what it looks like. If you see down here at the end, it's got a drill point and then it's made with cutting pieces. So it, it varies in it's a little different than most of them. Like an ice auger for people that live up north and in Canada that ice fish, yours would have two straight flat blades on it right here. Like I have a hand crank ice auger I have. We never get to go ice fishing because we never get ice anymore up here, but I have one out there anyway. And then this is what this end looks like. You can see it. Your battery pops right in here. And there's a, I think that's forward and reverse. I got it upside down anyway, but uh, overload protection, kickback protection, buttons. Uh, yeah, reverse is this way, forwards that way, and then in the middle is neutral. Kickback on. There's a light. Kickback at the uh, overload kick back off so we're going to try all that once we get the battery in it we're going to take it outside and we're going to try to all the hole and plant her back, black eyed susan for her here on camera in just a minute so when we come we'll be back we'll be outside in the front yard okay guys we're outside and closest to the road there's the black eyed susan that she bought i'm going to do it right here's our kitchen window i know you can't see it right here is dead center of her kitchen window and that's right even with our overhang so it'll get good morning sunlight, and but it won't get flooded if we get big heavy rains, but it will get some water. So move that out of the way. I've got the hole marked right here. And over in this pan over here to the side, I have uh, some potting soil. This is my first time ever using this, so it's in forward. I don't know how you make all the other stuff work. It doesn't, let's just say. Takes time to get used to it. Got a safety trigger, you gotta pull the trigger first though. So. It's flashing kickback protection, so let's reverse the hole. inch depth hole to start with. I want to go just a little deeper. Like I said, we have pretty hard ground here. Very hard. gets the job done yeah you may have to do it like if you're digging a post hole or something like that you may have to do it three or four times but it should be enough to dig a post hole it's nice having the reverse with the gas ones not having a reverse on them that my brother-in-laws have it's really hard to get them back out especially if you got it wound around a root or a big chunk of brick or rock we found a lot of chunks of brick evidently whoever owned this house before had remodeled rebuilt another house they set here at one time I know this house was built in 1966, according to the Z, but there might have been something here before, so let's see how deep that is. I'd say that's just about right. Let's pull our plant out. I wanted a little yellow in the yard. We've got a lot of other collars. We've got roses, pine trees, bayberry bushes. Take a little bit of that potting soil, put it down in the hole. Yeah, that's about perfect. And then we're going to fill in the potting soil all the way around. I can't wait to get mums. Yeah, almost at time of year. I'm going to pack that down good. And we're going to go back and we're going to clean up our little bit of mess here. food but he's in the house 
so in effect because he's not out here. Bark, bark, bark. One of the things we're going to be doing is putting a small, a small fence up around the front. We have a pretty good sized front yard too, but we're just going to put a smaller fence up so he can be out in the front more. But there you go. Really great for planting plants. I'm going to try it later on planting some trees and then like I said on the fence post later on and I'll try to make another video for you when I'm making a bigger hole. But there's your black eyed Susan planted and I got to get some water on it. so. You guys have a good night, and there's my unboxing and review of the Ryobi tools. Thanks, guys. Bye, guys.